You feel like being young.
Okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I'm great, thank you. Good. Yeah. Okay, welcome. One more time to our class. Hi, Noemi. Hello, Kitchen. Hey, you see, you have the alphabet. Okay, good evening, Janet, Tati, Nancy, Vladimir. Okay, good to see you one more time. Good evening, Tich. No le había puesto alta voz. Okay, good. Let's get it started tonight. Um, let me share the screen to start with this. Okay, the last activity from section three is this reading. We have um, four people here, and we are going to read about their job profiles. Okay. You prof job, prof job profile. Job profile. Mm -hmm. The first one is. Um, okay, she is an actress. Okay, actress, actress, actress. I'm going to read number one. Pay attention, please. It says. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Okay. Let me enhance this a little bit more. Okay, to read about Lisa. Um, please. I want you to read. Repeat after me, please. Lisa Parker has two jobs. Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night. She works she as, a waitress. as a waitress at, a waitress at, night. at night. But she's really an actress. But she's but really, she really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television mm -hmm. shows. During the day, During the day she, she auditions for plays and, plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult. Her schedule is difficult. And she's tired a lot. And she's tired a lot. 
But she's following her dream. But she's following her dream. Her dream. Her dream. Her dream. Okay, any question with this? No. Okay. Now, I want to read about John Blue. Okay, he's a video game tester. Okay, it says, lots of teenagers want Jew Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Okay. Good. Let's practice. Repeat. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day. He plays, he plays video games for eight hours a day. day. Okay. And he gets paid for it. Okay. And he gets paid for it. Paid for it. Paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Is it ever boring? Never. 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 John almost always wins. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now let's read about. Um, the other one is Becky Peck. Okay, listen, Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay, now repeat please. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Sometimes she takes twenty in the park at one time. Easy, take it easy. Becky is a professional dog walker. Becky, Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. She walks dogs for other people. Walks walks for other people. people. Other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Okay, now let's read about Carlos Ruiz. Listen, <laughs> Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades, homework, helps with after school activities, and of course, he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class. So he is happy. Okay, repeat. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons. He plans lessons. Grades homework. Grades homework. Helps with after school activities. And of course, he teaches. And of course, he teaches. 
His salary isn't great. His salary, His salary isn't, isn't great. great. But that's okay. But that, that's okay. okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay, good. Now that we read about these people, I, I'm going to send you in small groups, and I want you to respond some questions and write some questions, okay? For example, here, I give you the question, you are going to write the answer. Here, I give you the answer, you have to write the question, okay? So, in okay. small groups, complete this. Um, how many are we? We are 12 right now. Okay. Section groups, 11, or four groups. So join the groups and respond to questions or write the questions. See you in 10 minutes.
Angélica. Está ahí. Angélica. Ere.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, let's see. Tell me, <clears throat> who works as a waitress at night? Lisa Parker works as a waitress at night. Yes. So, if the answer is John Blue plays video games, what is the question? Who oh, plays video, video games? Video games. John Video games? Who plays video games? Video games. Game. Who plays video games? Okay. Number three. Who is a teacher? Carlos is a teacher. Good. Number four. Becky Peck is a dog walker. What is the question? Who is, Who, is Who is a dog walker? Yes. <clears throat> Number five. What does Lisa do during the day? She calls to audition. She auditions for players and television shows. Okay. Number six. The answer is Becky walks in the park every day. What is the question? Where? Where the Becky he walks walk every day. day. Where? Where Becky, Becky walks walk every, every day. Okay, where does Becky walk? 
Yeah, where does Becky walk every day? Okay. Where does? Where? where? It could be when also, but the question may change a little bit. If you use when, the question would be when does Becky walk in the park? Everybody. When does uh, Becky walk in the park? In the park. Yeah, cuando. The answer is Becky walks in the park every day. Mm -hmm. Pero también where? Where does Becky walk every day? Mm -hmm. Good. Becky walks in the park every day. Mm -hmm. Two questions are correct. Number seven. Does Mr. Ruiz have a great salary? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Doesn't. And the, the answer is John works for a big video game company. What is the question? Where does, Where does John work? John work? Where does John work? Okay. Very good. Good job. Now let's continue then. Um, um photo. The photo. No, later. Okay. Tonight, with that, we finish section three. Please make sure you make sure you the, uh, complete the uh, hey too loud. Hey too loud. Complete the midterm exam, okay? Okay. And in section four, we are going to start talking about food vocabulary. Vocabulary about food. So there is a video to watch here. I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment. So pay attention to this video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts. Chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables. Broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy and potato chips. 
the idea here is to practice all the vocabulary so while you may like all the stuff from this food pyramid I would like for you to think about your friends family and co-workers and think about their likes and dislikes um, for example my sister likes milk uh, yogurt uh, but she doesn't like cheese now is your turn to practice I would like for you to use all the vocabulary that we learned on this lesson and express likes and dislikes after you complete this task please share your work in our discussion forums Okay, now we have this vocabulary to practice. Um, could you please turn on your microphones? We're going to practice the pronunciation of this vocabulary. Oh, let me enlarge this. Okay, let's start with this. <clears throat> it's fat, oil, sugar. Repeat. Repeat, please. Fat, oil, sugar. Fat, oil, fat, oil, fat, oil, sugar. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream. 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 Butter. 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 Oil. Oil. oil candy, candy. candy. Okay. potato chips potato. meat and other protein meat and other protein fish, fish. fish. Beans. Beans. beans nuts nuts chicken Chicken. Eggs. 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 Beef. Beef. Dairy. 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 Milk. 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 Yogurt. 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 Cheese. Cheese. Fruit. 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 Bananas. 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 Apples. Apples. Apples, oranges, oranges, strawberries, strawberries. strawberries. Mangoes. Mangoes. mangoes, vegetables, vegetables. vegetables. Broccoli. broccoli, carrots, carrots. lettuce, lettuce. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. tomatoes, potatoes. Potatoes, grains, grains, grains. bread, bread. Yeah. cereal, bread. crackers, crackers. 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 Rice. Rice. rice, noodles, noodles. noodles. Pasta. 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 Okay, very good. Now I want you to write sentences like this okay i like cereal bananas and eggs i don't like yogurt and nuts so that's me okay now i write about my wife my wife likes pasta mangoes and candy she doesn't like milk and beef Okay, so I, I will give you three minutes to write sentences like this. Your notebooks, please. Write sentences like this. Things that you like and things that you don't like. Then write about a person in your family your brother, your mother, your sister, your father, 
your boyfriend or your your husband okay like me i wrote about my wife my wife likes pasta mangoes and candy she doesn't like milk and milk okay three minutes and then you are going to share with us see you in three minutes
Okay, I like to hear some of your sentences. Who starts? Volunteer. Only one. Me, teacher, me. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I like, I like cereal, bananas, milk, cheese, fish, beans. Okay. I don't like, I don't like candy, uh, broccoli. Okay. <laughs> My husband likes, 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 uh, yes. bread, beef, chicken, sugar, um, beans, uh, milk. Uh, he doesn't like broccoli on Korean, Korean. Okay, very okay. good. Thank you. Pass okay. the ball, Veronica. Pass the ball, Janet. Okay, Janet. <laughs> Janet. Hello, Janet. Where did you go? No, okay, okay. No le había puesto. Yeah. My husband like is all fruit um, bananas, apple, orange, mango. Mango is mangoes, mango is man, mango. strawberries, uh, um, vegeta vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. And broccoli, carrot, let, uh, lectu, lechuga, <laughs> lettuce, Toma tomatoes, um, potatoes. Uh, he doesn't um, um, pasta, noodles, um, candy, um, potatoes chip. Okay. Ah, uh, I like, o sea, a mí. Yes, yes. Uh, I like is at fruit, cereal. Uh, fruit, old. I don't like yo yogurt, potatoes, chip, candies, and noodles, and noodles. Okay, very good, very good. Well, we need to continue. So maybe on Monday we can you can share your answers. Uh, we have a conversation here to practice. Um, let's go to. The, Let's go to this video to watch the conversation, okay? Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain. Okay, before two. Continue with that. Let's take a look to the conversation, okay? Please activate your microphones. And let's practice the conversation. Are you ready? Yes. 
Yes. Okay. Listen and repeat. What do you want for the picnic? What do, do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Mm, how about sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. Okay, okay. we have, we have yeah. some yeah. chicken in the and we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? Do we have any drinks? Any drink? No, we need some. No, no. Oh, we, we need, need some. some. All right, let's get some lemonade. All, All right. right. All right. Let's, let's get, get some, some lemon. 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 And let's buy some potato salad. And um, let's buy some, some potato, potato salad. Potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Sure, sure. everyone likes, everyone likes potato, potato salad. salad. Okay, very good. Now look at the i have some statements that i want you to check if they are true or false according to the conversation okay according to the conversation i want you to work on this number one they are going to a party is that true false. or false False. false. Ah, false. To a picnic. Oh, okay. Why? Where are they're they going? going to, they're going, they to, the going to the picnic. Okay, good. Number two, they have some chicken in the refrigerator. True. True. Yes, it's true. Yes, that's true. true. Okay. Number three, they have bread and cheese. False. No, false. 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 Okay, they don't no. have. They no. say no. they don't no. have any, any bread. bread and cheese. Four. They don't need any drinks. False. No. True. 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 False. False. No. False. They need. Yeah. They need drinks. Ah, they need oh. drinks. Necesitan yes. Because yes. they have, uh, Adam says, do we have any drinks? No, we need no. some. Oh. Mm -hmm. Necesitamos some. Yes. I need you some. Number five, they are going to get some lemonade. Yes, they oh. are. It's true. It's true. Okay. It's true. And number six, they don't like potato salad. It's false. 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 Everybody false. Likes potato salad. Everybody likes potato salad. Yes. Do you like potato salad? Yes. 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 Right. Okay. So let's continue with the grammar topic in the video. And is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart, you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. 
Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns An egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. Non count nouns Bread, lemonade. Specific I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge and make a list of all the things that you need and don't need to buy from the grocery store. For example, I need some eggs. I don't need any milk. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Um. So, just remember that we can use for questions, we can use some or any, okay? We can use some or any for questions. For affirmative or positive answers for affirmative we only use some okay in affirmative sentences we only use some and for negative sentences we only use any please remember this for questions we can use some or any no problem for affirmative sentences we only use some and for negative sentences we are going to use any okay um any question here people Oh. Oh. No. Uh, okay, there in WhatsApp you have this exercise to practice. You see? To use any or some. 
So complete this exercise as a homework, and we're going to check it on Monday. Okay, you have this in WhatsApp. Now, if you can turn on your cameras for a moment, I would like to take uh, the screenshot. Are you ready? Did you comb your hair? <laughs> Come on, turn on your camera. Vladimir, Roberto, Nancy. Just for a moment. Janet, sure. Tanya. Sorry, My can no, no CP. <laughs> no fusion. <laughs> Doesn't work. Nancy, Roberto, Veronica. Yo tengo bien mala la resolución, teacher. Ah, okay. Así. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Roberto. No funciona. <laughs> okay. So, smile, say cheese. One, two, three. Cheese. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Good night. Complete all the exercise for section three and the midterm exam. Okay? Okay. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye.